This is Braylon. Some of you may know me better as Pisces Priestess. I'm here to sit down and talk to you about Saturn retrograde, you guys. Woo! This is interesting. Everybody's talking about Saturn retrograde right now in the astrology community. So I just had, as a Capricorn rising, I just had to sit down and channel some things about Saturn retrograde. I even got Saturn here with me, guys, on my desk, okay? To talk about this, um, I'm going to channel some things. Now, Saturn went retrograde on April 17th, just a couple days ago. This was a shift that even even the, the, the most least aware people of astrology felt this shift. I got people hitting me up. What the hell's going on, Braylon? What's going on? So, yeah, guys, Saturn retrograde. We got Chiron and Aries. A lot going on with the cardinal signs right now. So this is about action. Retrogrades are the slowing down of energy. So this might be delayed action. Um, you know, this, this definitely talks a lot about needing a little bit more time, you guys. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. He is the father of time. So from now until September 6th, there's things that are karmically going on in our universe that we need more time about, okay? Saturn talks about, you know, restrictions and limitations. I got my notes here. Uh, boundaries, dis dis discipline, rules, regulations, and responsibility, this is responsibility. So in these videos, you guys, I'm going to be talking about the different areas of responsibility that we need to reflect on. Because this is definitely, I think it's very interesting that Saturn is the lord of time, right? Saturn rules time. Time is karma. Time, time and karma are very similar, okay? So Saturn is the father of time. Saturn is a very father figure, all right? So, you know, this is definitely time travel. Because anytime we have a retrograde, this is time moving backwards. This is time kind of taking a slower turn of events. So this is definitely a wrinkle in time because I feel like from now until September 6th, we're gaining the ability to have more time about something. Um, what I'm seeing in my head is, is us running on a treadmill. And we've been running on this treadmill with Saturn and Capricorn, you know, for since December 19th is when Saturn first entered Capricorn. So since then, we've been running on this karmic treadmill. And, and this is Saturn. I see Saturn. He's like, there's this figure and he's in a suit, of course. And he's very, he's kind of intimidating and bulky. And um, he's like a drill sergeant or something. And he's been running us to death, running us, running us. And this is the transit where he turns down the speed of the, the treadmill. We finally get to catch our breath you know what i'm saying he's he's secretly proud of us but don't get too happy about that guys because he's slowing down the treadmill temporarily so that he can increase the fucking speed when it comes to september 6th okay so the reason why this slowing down of karma now keep in mind saturn is slowing down but karma is intensifying karma is actually more intense the slower it comes it's like creeping up like you're not gonna get it now but you're gonna get it soon you know so it's just kind of creepy <laughs> And, um, you know, I don't want you guys to think that karma's just out of the building because karma has not left the building. She is taking a temporary uh, backseat so that our karma from sep since, since December to April. So that's five months, I believe. We have December, January, February, March, April. So four months for the past four months since car. So literally four months because it's been exactly four months as I record this video because December 19th was when Capricorn uh, had Saturn enter their sign. And, and let me tell you, Saturn is ruled by Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So he is very comfortable in this grounded earth 10th house energy. And he's comfortable in Aquarius as well because these are two signs that talk about the future. These are two, two signs that talk about social status and community. So this is Saturn, okay? And he is here definitely in this area. So for the past four months, we have been doing things, and we might not have even been aware of it. We, we've been doing things that are karmically involved with our destiny. You know what I'm saying? So this is about reflecting on the past four months and getting prepared for the next five months. Okay, because this, this is happening since April 17th to September 6th. So that's, that's from uh, basically Taurus season to Virgo season. So interesting that this is happening in two earth signs. This is Capricorn. This is happening in, it happened in Aries season to be fair, but we are one day away from Taurus. So the majority of, 
well, this is going to happen in uh, Taurus season, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. But I just think it's interesting that this is happening around the the area, the Taurus cusp, which is an earth sign. And then it's going to go back direct in Virgo season. So come Virgo season, you guys, this karma is going to be very grounded. Okay. Um, we're going to be learning. This is all about the reflection. We're going to be reflecting on certain responsibilities right now. This is lessons from the past. I'm calling this the karma control squad. So Saturn has minions. Saturn has people and places and things that work in his favor that are out here distributing these rules, distributing these regulations. It's all us. We're bouncing off of each other. Some of us, are we have karma involved with other people and stuff like that. So this is definitely about reflecting on our responsibilities. This is definitely reflecting on certain limitations that we've learned about since since over the past four months, certain discipline. This is a good thing, you guys, because some of us, some of us are dealing with limitations that are no longer serving us. Some of us are restricted in areas that, that Saturn doesn't approve of. Some of us are lacking boundaries that we need to, to build. Some of us are having way too many boundaries placed on us. So this is about authority, okay? This is about taking authority of our past, you guys. This is about needing more time. This is literally a wrinkle in time, literally time travel. So this is a karmic review of everything that has happened since since the last past four months, since December 19th. And this is an evaluation of growth. How much have we grown? What have we learned about responsibilities? What have we done? What haven't we done? Karma is an energy that comes back around. So what 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 goes around comes around, right? So in this case, what went around is coming back around. This isn't even what's going around anymore. There's nothing going around right now. We're taking a temporary break. So you want to be careful what you do for the next five five months because it's not that you're going to get away with it. You know, karma, karma does come back around. We have these rings with Saturn, right? We have those darker rings there. There's a reason why Saturn has ice rings. This is ice and dust. Saturn's rings are made of ice and dust. So this is old karma. Karma comes with us from past lives and stuff like that. So even, you know, this is old and old and cold karma. That's why Saturn has dust and ice as their rings, because even the oldest of karma and the coldest of karma is still coming back around, you guys. So it's definitely time to reflect on that. Um, this is going to be a game changer, okay? I'm not going to lie to you guys. Saturn going retrograde is a game changer. So it's going to be interesting to see the different areas of, the, of life that this is happening in for all of us. You know, this is definitely, definitely something that's going to change. Karma is a very, very, very powerful force. I'm a strong believer in karma. So, you know, don't be afraid because this is definitely necessary. This is, karma is what the energy that we put out returning to us. So it really, it, honestly, I'm so open to karma because I want to get what I deserve. And whether that's a good or bad thing is going to depend on the different individuals that we are. So if you, you're you going to get what you deserve. And if you're, if you're confident, if you've worked hard, if you've, if you've done what you've been, if you've been following your karmic path, if you've put in the work, if you've placed certain boundaries, followed certain rules, if you've been on the, if you've been on your A game, then this is going to be an easy transit for you. You're just going to be reaping what you sow. So, you know, I, f I feel like that karma is a very important force in our life because I want, I don't know about you, but I want people to get what they deserve. What goes around comes around. We all have a karmic path and Saturn controls that for us. Saturn is, is that father figure, you know what I mean? And there are certain, you know, there are certain energies that come along with Saturn as an authority figure. You know, he just wants what's best for us. Saturn, people give Saturn such a horrible rep because they feel like Saturn is, is a very sinister planet. But to me, I've always loved Saturn. You know, I have Saturn right on top of my sun in my natal chart, and I'm also a Capricorn rising. So Saturn has always been one of my favorite planets. Um, I'm very much open to constructive criticism and authority. You know, I don't really like being told what to do, but as far as astrology goes, as far as Saturn goes, I know that he's never going to lead me wrong. He's never going to lead me astray. You know what I mean? Saturn wants what's best for us. He wants us to grow and be responsible and do things in a timely fashion and be the best selves that we can be, our responsible selves, you know. There are just certain rules that we have as people. Karma has a lot to do with rules and a lot to do with boundaries and restrictions. So we really want to just remain open during this transit, you guys. Remain open to, to the things that are coming in and, and releasing from our life. Because if there's anything that I know about this transit is that it is karmically orchestrated. You know, Saturn doesn't go retrograde and, and things like that and, unless it's supposed to. And it's interesting because this is happening with, with in Capricorn, 
meaning Saturn is very at home, and it's happening with Pluto and Mars. So this has everything to do, you guys, with karm like with karmic action. You know, this has everything to do with a karmic purification because this is happening with Pluto. So this is a karmic transformation. Pluto, Saturn, and Mars all together in Capricorn definitely working together to purify our actions, to purify our, our karmic destiny. So I don't know about you, but I'm open to that because sometimes planets just know things better than me. And I am definitely going to trust the universe during this time. Like wherever I wind up, wherever we wind up between now and September 6th, you guys, just trust. Trust in the destiny of things right now. Trust in the karmic divine order of our planets and our universe. Everything happens for a reason, right? So what's coming around is meant to come around. And honestly... I'm going to remain open to everything that comes my way because there, for all I know, there was something I did in a past life. You know, I trust karma. Karma is a force that I trust. And just remember, guys, karma is only a bitch if you're a bitch to her. OK, so without further ado, I'm going to now start recording and, and get these other videos uploaded so that we can talk on a more personal level with each zodiac sign about where this is happening for us. OK, so please enjoy your videos and I will talk to you guys soon. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your Saturn retrograde video, guys. So we have Saturn retrograde in the second house. So this is very, very interesting, guys. Um, Saturn has been in Capricorn, your second house of value in personal resources, for four months, since December 19th. So a little, like literally a day over four months now. So Saturn, you know, he's the planet of karma. This is karma, you guys. This is restrictions, boundaries. This is a very serious planet. Hopefully, hopefully you guys know a bit about Saturn. Saturn was in your guys' sign um, a little while ago. He's been out of your sign for a long time. Hopefully you guys are feeling the freedom. I hate when Sagittarius is restricted. I know you guys hate it too. But um, let's see here. So Saturn going retrograde to me is definitely a karmic review. So this is a karmic review of your value, Sagittarius. Your value, the value you have in the things that belong to you. Everything that you personally own. Your worth, you know what I'm saying? Your finances for sure. This is the house of finances. So this is all about your karmic value, valuing karma. The, you're going to understand, you know, Sagittarius, you're a very smart sign. You're ruled by Jupiter, expansive, higher philosophy, your higher mind. So you guys are going to be expanding and uh, reevaluating the value that you have in your own karma. You guys might even be seeing karma play out directly in other people, and that's why you gain value. Like, we I love karma. Karma is great. I just seen that person get what they deserve. You know what I mean? So you might be, uh, you know, earning or learning and experiencing karma in a, in a different way as you really value it more. You may be seeing the value of karma. So I do want to talk a little bit about these restrictions and boundaries and limits that Saturn brings up because to have that in your second house, you know, I have Saturn in my second house. I have my second house is Pisces in my natal chart in um, my Saturn is in Pisces. So I know what it feels like to have Saturn in the second house. Um, my finances and values and resources have always been a bit restricted, but I do know that these restrictions take place for a reason, you guys. So this is a karmic review of, of, any, re, uh, of any restrictions, limitations, regulations. You're going to be learning more. Saturn wants to, to teach you how to be more responsible financially, how to be more responsible when it comes to your worth and your resources. Sag, you can be a very nice person. Um, you know, you guys have a lot of energy, so really it's no skin off your bone to, to share sometimes. But this is this is causing you to really focus on what belongs to you, okay? So Saturn wants to know if he wants to check out your boundaries when it comes to your money, when it comes to your wallet. Now, this might manifest in a way where, you, where you know, you are dealing with these boundaries. Like, you know, this is retrograde. So whatever you've learned over the past five, four months about your finances, about your worth, you know, about regulation and responsibility when it comes to finances and personal resources. That's what Saturn wants to kind of go back and just kind of, you know, karmically review that. He wants to know and evaluate how much you've grown. You know, you guys may need more time when it comes to money. Like some of you may have some sort of financial goal, but Saturn is here to tell you that you need a little bit more time. So there might be something financial that comes up between now and September 6th that you have to wait on. You know, you know, you just don't have enough money for this car. You don't have enough money for this apartment or this down payment on a house or, 
you know, I don't know, Sagittarius, you, there's Saturn rules time. So when Saturn is moving slower, karma and time seem even slower, even though karma intensifies. I mean, the planet of time is moving retrograde. So time itself can even seem a little bit slower right now. So this is literally, if time slows down, we don't want to be quick. You know, we want to slow down too. We have Jupiter retrograde. Saturn's retrograde, okay, that's restriction and expansion being retrograde in the sky. So this is expansion of the past and the restriction of the past. Weird. That means there's a, literally the universe is standing still. That's trippy. Thanks, Sagittarius. Your energy is helping me channel this. But yeah, that's weird. And then we're going to have Pluto retrograde, okay? So that's interesting. Thank goodness Mercury is uh, back direct. So, you know, Sagittarius, it is time to, to, to reflect and redefine our own life, you know, and in these areas of our life for you, it's definitely your finances, your worth, your value, you know. So this is like, you know, this is money karma for you, honestly. So that's going to play out differently. Some of you are going to lose money because of that. Some of you are going to gain money. It, there's a lot of different Sagittarius is watching. So wherever you fall on that spectrum, you know. I, I'm a channeler, I'm a messenger, but I am not karma, you know what I mean? Like, I understand karma, and I understand Saturn, but it's it's not my place to, to tell to tell you guys, you know, like, oh, this you this is what you're, you guys are going to lose money. Like, it's really infinite, and it depends on the, the very, very individual, but karma doesn't lie. So some of you just have karmic money influences, whatever that means to you. It, it, like I said, this could be you walking into a casino and getting walking out with thousands of dollars. This could be you losing 20 bucks when it was your last 20 bucks because maybe you, maybe there was something financial that, that was a little bit, you know. Saturn is the judge of that. Saturn just wants people to be responsible. He wants people to have uh, healthy boundaries and discipline. So this could be you guys really trying to budget your money, you know, restricting yourself from certain splurging, you know, not maybe not so much spending right now, Sag. But you just want to reflect on all those responsibilities and take authority of your own worth, Sagittarius. Take authority of your own finances. Make sure Saturn wants, Saturn is all about money, okay? Saturn, because money, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of money, but money is a karmic thing. You know, we go and we, we, we literally sacrifice our time. There's a reason why Saturn is in the 10th house of Capricorn. Like, Saturn rules the 10th house of career. Career has a lot to do with money, wouldn't you say? So there's a reason because Saturn rules time, okay? So we literally, when we have these jobs, we literally are karmically sacrificing X amount of our time. Like, you spend maybe 8 to 10 hours at a certain work or a certain job to, to basically receive this payment right and then we have the 10th house which it also rules the government so the government is what regulates you know astrology just makes so much sense to me so we literally give a little bit of our time up because that's time that we could be literally this the 10th house rules all that time government legacy so we're literally sacrificing our legacy and our karmic path to stand at this this place our job whatever job you have for x amount of hours that you could be living your life, and then you receive money for that. Everybody knows we need money. So it's just interesting that, that Saturn rules all that authority, uh, people in uniforms, our career, our legacy, our social status. So, you know, this is just all coming up, and it's in a very serious spot for you, Sag. This is your resources and, and what you call yours. So you could really be, um, you know, you know, reflecting on that. This is just you and your own value. So Saturn wants to know what you've learned about your value and about your worth, Sagittarius. Since Saturn has came out of your sign, you know, Saturn has been out of your sign for four months. So how has this four months been for you, Sag? What have you learned about your finances? What have you learned from certain financial restrictions and boundaries? And also, like I said, you may need a little bit more time to reflect on this responsibility. Some of you need a little bit more time to expand on this this financial endeavor. But this is a karmic review of that, and it is an evaluation of growth there. So honestly, Sagittarius, you really just want to trust right now what you know where you are financially and where you are as far as far as like there may be certain our resources are things that belong to us. So that's a very, very broad, broad statement, you know. This computer belongs to me. This notebook belongs to me. I belong to me. So you may be just, you know, since you are a Sagittarius, you have the opportunity to expand no matter what because your sun or your rising sign or your moon is in Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius energy if you're watching this. So you can always choose to expand something. You know, you are, you guys are the opposite. Capricorn comes right after you. 
So there's a reason why Capricorn is your second house, but you're the 12th house of Capricorn. So you are behind one sign behind Capricorn always. So you have the ability to expand here, Sagittarius. So, you know, you just want to trust divine timing as well, though. So you use that expansion superpower that you have very wisely because right now the universe is really, really ex ex distributing karma to you based off of your own worth and your own resources and your own value. And that's really interesting because we just had the sun enter Taurus. So that that energy, Taurus rules this house. So this is an earth house. And, and, you know, you have earth as the second house, but you have cardinal earth. So you might not be taking financial action with something right now. Maybe some of you need to wait until September 6th when all this goes direct in Virgo season to do something. But if that is the case, just trust it, Sagittarius. Trust that that you're only meant to, to expand in certain areas right now. I know you don't really like this restriction. Sag doesn't like restriction anywhere. Fire. Fire doesn't like restriction. It makes it burn out. But, you know, there's this happens for a reason. This is all happening for a reason. Saturn is going retrograde. And the good part of this is if there is any restrictions, if there's any karm any karma, if there's any karmic restrictions um, that don't serve you anymore, Saturn's going retrograde to kind of erase those after you reflect and review them, okay? So not 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 too much to worry about there, Sagittarius. It's just this the karma, you know what I mean? Just understanding that what what's coming back to you is coming is all. The energy you put out is coming back to you and you're going to learn a lot more about value because of that. And that's kind of really awesome, honestly. So I didn't want these videos to be too long, though, guys. So this is all I have for you now. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, I always watch the comments. I always reply to as many as I can. So if you have any experiences that you want to share about how this has been for you since since December and any experiences you have until till September, from December until September, this is all happening then. But for the next five months, Saturn is retrograde. So please comment or if you feel the need to reach out to me personally, I have all that information as well in the description box. So, all right, Sagittarius, I'll talk to you guys later.